What's going on, everybody? Back with Resident Evil 3. The 3 standing for how many times I have crapped my pants per recording. Hello? You're locked. I'm gonna need a key card. Hello? Um, she's got a locked door there. A safety room here, which, admittedly, nest to employee regulations. The objectives of the T virus research facility differ from those of Umbrella's main nest facility. Here we focus on real world use cases, which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced, such as the need for T virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is imperative that all employees adhere to workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by unapproved visitors or the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. You will be murdered. It is a great honor to be part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge new and revolutionary technologies. And that's an S2 map. So, my thing, right, is the fact that they're like, oh... We're making uh, revolutionary bioweapons. You're like, cool. But then they're also in the same breath. They're, they're like, oh, well, we also have to create weapons to be able to suppress the same bioweapons. Does that seem a little, like, counterproductive that you would be making bioweapons and then you have to... Oh. Shit. These are tight corridors. I'm not, uh... Are you... How was that a miss? Umbrella is such a funny, like, company and entity, though. And I, I mean, it's, that's the whole point, though, is it's meant to be, like, really sort of counterproductive. And why, like, it's kind of like, oh, hey, Isaac Graves' diary. The pay was generous, the benefits were good. Most importantly, they promised me I'd be contributing to state-of-the-art medical tech research. For a university teacher stuck working in nowhere America, it was a golden opportunity like winning the lottery, so I went for it. I made the pitch to my family and we agreed to move here to Raccoon City. Well, hindsight is 2020 because this lab is a den of monsters who conduct cruel and barbaric experiments for the sole purpose of taking human life in the most sickening way possible. It's messed up. The world needs to know. But every time I work up enough courage to blow the whistle, I think of Petty and Casey and immediately chicken out. Umbrella owns this town. There was this guy they caught trying to smuggle out company secrets. They essentially fed him to one of the betas. Fed him. I saw the whole thing. I got my wife and daughter into this. I just need to do my job, do as I'm told for their sake. But let this be testament that I do have a conscience and that I've earned, learned my lesson. What did they say? Silence is violence. Complacency is as bad as, uh... You know, if you're doing it yourself. Excuse me. That room looks fun. I'm gonna grab this for no reason. So I've also noticed one thing that's a little is a slight disappointment for me uh, when it comes to this game is the fact that you can tell which models are actually like gonna get up and move around based upon um, their actual model so if they like these two aren't gonna move I didn't like that. Um, 
So yeah, you can tell like which many of the models that will get up and move because they're, you know, there's only a finite number of zombie models in the game. Which, if you are able to notice that, I feel like that's a tool in your arsenal to know which ones are going to move. I mean, I do that a lot. You guys have probably seen that where I'll stop me looking. Vaccine synthesis. Place the materials in the chamber. Synthesis? I have to make it myself? Lame. All right. Vaccine synthesis. I am not reading all of this. Sorry, anyone and everyone, I'm not. Is everything in the lab? Can I obtain these? I don't think there's anything I can do here. I think this is just a balcony. Um, so I'm assuming I'm going to have to go obtain all the materials. Uh, I'm assuming they're clearly not in here. It would be, in fact... Much too convenient. Uh huh. I, sterilization room. I don't know. What I, I missed something. I'm missing something. I don't know what I missed. through doors now? I might be my way through the doors. Aha! not you're not tricking me like I see you Why do some of you just not die? You! Why are you still moving? Why aren't you dead? I have fought much bigger and more dangerous bioweapons that have the courtesy to lay the hell down in perish. You guys just eat so much shit. It is unfreaking believable. You are gonna move. It's a zombie model. Can you pick up the scientist's dying message? It's happened. Our worst case scenario. The T virus is somehow leaked under orders from Dr. Bard. I'm to manufacture mass quantities of the vaccine. I've prepared a culture of the T virus antigen. Now I just need to combine it with in a adjuvant to enhance its effects and I should be able to produce enough vaccine to save all the surviving citizens a store in the incubation lab cool
So, it turns out that the naked bullshit ass zombies basically cannot be killed by anything other than like the magnum or like the shotgun or the grenade launcher but the grenade launcher even you have to they regenerate health so you have to deal tremendous amounts of damage in as short of period as possible which is just the biggest crock of shit. That's not a fun mechanic. It's actually stupid. Weaponry authorization, uh, very high regrowth rate. Yeah, it's supposed to be known as pale heads. It's generally makes it difficult to deliver a lethal blow with standard weaponry. High-powered weaponry. Okay, yeah. So that's just... Just to... Drive the player f insane. For... For the people who know about it, I'm sure that wasn't too much of a surprise. I had no idea what the hell they were. I had a feeling... An that, um, all of my... My floundering was for... Nothing. You know what I mean? Like, I had... I had the feeling what I was doing was amounting to... Absolutely... Shit all. Great, another one. Which I'm going to attempt to just ignore because they just, they take too much resources. The, 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 the resource cost of fighting one of those things is immense. Oh, there's two gunpowders I'm going to combine. I'm really low on shotgun ammo, which is really unfortunate, but it can't, can't be helped currently. Yeah, as you guys saw, I just spent a hot minute, um, literally stabbing one to see if it would just die. And turns out that doesn't work. So I pulled out my shotgun and put four shotgun shells in with the back of its head. This must be what powers it. And I thought the uh, plant monsters were annoying. These guys are ten times worse. Although they operate under the same generalized principle of essentially being immortal unless you can deal just all of your damage in one shot, basically. First aid spray. I don't... You know what? I'm going to take it. Um, I'm pretty well stocked on Oh, that's a lot of hunters. That's uh Yeah. Those in fact are those are what I'm more concerned about on the left, though. They're not going to make you fight a ton of tyrants, but they're going to they'll make you fight a bunch of hunters, though. That's why I got this guy. I do have some acid rounds too, which is good. So I do have additional uh, munitions for the grenade launcher, so I can go a little, <laughs> I can go a little hog wild, if you know what I mean. Hey. Out of the way. You know what, speaking of... Why that? Wasn't quite what I wanted to do. I will, um. Sh 
shoot like an ignoramus. Folded. Uh, not, not very helpful. This would be the other virus sample that I cannot obtain. Um, yeah, I could use that green herb to touch my health up. Uh, expression of concern. I just don't feel like reading all that. Sorry, guys. I know I'm usually pretty good about reading all that stuff, and but when I get like frustrated, like flustered and stuff like that, like I just don't want to sit there and read this long, long thing. You know what I mean? I'm gonna probably running is. Explosive compound combine. More incendio. I am completely fully heal. I'm out. I have three shotgun shells left, which is not not my happy place. I can be honest. Um, I have two of the antigen samples. Um, unfortunately, I know there's another one of these jackasses in here. Do have to be extremely mindful. There he is. Let me see if I can't get around him. I really, 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 really don't want to have to fight it. One of them I can leave roaming around more than that, and we start getting into, uh, not, not good territory. I am so incredibly stupid. No, oh, no. Huh, that was easy. Easier than the liquid one I had to do in the second game. You know... Ow. Oh, I'm down here now. This is... Seems good. So strong. Yeah, well. It's about to be on fire and chasing us again. Jill, you are just not moving fast enough.
floor is uh, grating. You could just like, you know, stick your fingers into it, probably break your fingers, but yeah. Jill, 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 Jill. You need to understand that the uh, the more you, you hurt Nemesis, the more just pissed off it gets. It's gonna come back bigger and crazier looking. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's all it ever does. It comes back bigger and crazier looking every time. And then we gotta deal with that. That's something we gotta live with. Um, let's not do that. Let's do that. Um, I'm going to store those and store those. We are going to take these. Um, I've got this just sinking suspicion that I'm going to need those. Um... Weird feeling I gotta fight Nemesis here in a second. So I'm just gonna take all this shit with me and we're gonna see if I'm actually gonna be fighting Nemesis here in a second. What in God's name is this place? Well, you know, that looks like a combat arena, Jill. I, if we, you wanna give me more flame grenades, I'm not gonna say no. I am gonna say though is uh shit. <laughs> Yo. Ow. I'm in this business to get paid. So let's make a deal. You go down there, battle the nemesis, and I'll recall it all and sell the combat out. Put on a good show, and maybe I don't need the vaccine. Agreed? Good. Go down there and fight the nemesis. You make it sound so easy. I like how Nemesis patiently waited, too. I'm assuming these big containers sitting around here are going to be for, uh... The fighting of, uh, Mr. Nemesis. It's a Dark Souls boss. Ow! Am I, am I just dead? No? That is insane. What? He did a tremendous amount of damage. Oh, I hit B button. The B button should be the dodge button. I have to hurt him. He's gonna run along the edges, and I'm gonna have to. Uh... Jill, is that you, Carlos? Carlos! You're okay. No, I'm not. But for you. thanks. Good idea. What? Of course, there's regular zombies now. He's hiding behind take five. Now, rip that cluster apart.
I don't like how the camera angle is kind of stuck up in these fights. Seven, eight. Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to shortcut you over shotgun. Seems like a... An awesome time to whip out the... The Schmagnum. If I could use him to kill the zombies. Oof. Ow. He's gonna do his thing. That's my health. I'm in caution. I'm going to heal. Here comes some more. This day. Upwardly mobile. I missed. I didn't miss. I hit the dodge, but okay. That zombie too, and I think I succeeded. Do your thing, Nemesis. Got some more incoming. Number five. Surprise, Hit convenient handlebars are convenient. I'm gonna melt this fucker in a mush. It's not gonna work like that, I'm gonna tell you that much. It's too powerful. Nemesis down? Defeat stage two nemesis. Now it didn't say permanently defeat nemesis, so I have to get that vaccine back. We're gonna go after Nikolai. Krapinski's a butthead. It's a crappy butthead. Weapon spec sheets, redacted, ferromagnetic infantry use, next generation railgun! Hey, I don't I don't care about anything else. Am I gonna be using a railgun to fight Nemesis? You got me. You got me sold. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm a man of simple means. I take that out. Shotgun is unfortunately not gonna be the most useful thing to me in the world right now. Is uh, deeply, deeply saddening. 
probably also should have searched that arena better during the fight for supplies. Probably could have got some more ammo, but I can make more magnum. Wait, I do have a regular. Hey, yo. <laughs> so I can make a little bit of shotgun ammo. I want to have at least something only. You know what I'm sizzling? I wish I could take these 33 pistol rounds from this pistol too and apply them elsewhere. Uh, we will shortcut you back over there. You greedy son of a Just shoot him! You and Mother. I like one. We shall make ours an ongoing arrangement. Now drop the gun! Nah, cause Nemesis is back. Now what in the name of hell is that? That's not the word I would use. This would be worth millions. But, uh, you know how it is. City's about to explode, and you can't put a price on life. <laughs> I mean, it's a, Good luck. an evolving bioweapon. Go after Nikolai. He's got the vaccine. What about you? We're running out of time. I've got this. I know you do. Look. Just so you know, this is the last fucking time. Bro, what the hell? Get the hell out of here! What the fuck? Dude! What? Damn! It needs power. The fake Jill. What? Jill had her creatine this morning. How do I, like... Oh, I'm in danger. Do I have to shoot the posh tools? Yes, I think so. It... It hits you once and immediately puts you back in danger, so... Push, ma'am. Push! This one done. Go ahead. I'm going to put you right back on your ass. That was I was I was hoping for too much. I should have dodged. Alright, so here we go. 
that down. Pardon me, excuse me. You're just gonna lay there for a second. And, you know, get your get your strength back while I get these power sources going here so I can fire this rail gun up your ass. This is, I, this is a level of outlandish that, like, I just, I just don't know how to, like, Resident Evil is so insane. These games are, am I about to jam the railgun in its mouth and... Jill, you're so cool. Come on. Am I about to go through the big rail gun hole in the wall? Good riddance. Y'all cannot tell me that that wasn't just so sick. What? Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna shortcut my magnum here. That was... That was everything... I could have hoped for. That was not particularly difficult. I imagine on like hardcore that fight can be tough. I wonder if Nemesis will like one shot you. But come on. It's so <sighs> it's on brand for Resident Evil. It's, uh, oh, another elevator again, eh? I can still catch him. I mean, I hope so. I got this, this magnum. Let's do it. You're telling me. You're not going to stop. Promise to this, didn't I? Oh, no! Do you have any idea what you've just done? No, no. Don't care. My client ordered me to reduce umbrella to rub. Ten minutes until missile ah. impact. The missile has launched. And that is my cue. Goodbye. Shame you didn't listen to me when you had the chance. Now, Jill, this is the point, part where you get up and you help. Just watch Carlos get his ass kicked. Oh, alright, he's actually fighting back. Jill! Shoot him! I can't! I'll hit you! Do it! You have to! Throw the dude to the side! Aren't you wearing a bulletproof vest? I told you I couldn't leave you in a Carlos' world. That would just be too cruel. What about him? Why'd you do it? Price tag for everything. Even letting the world burn. <laughs> Who are you working for? I'll tell you. If you get me out of here, I'll pay you whatever you want. You're, You're a fool! If I die, you'll never find out the truth. I don't mind a little detective. Burn! Now we're gonna fly away all cool, and you get to perish. You're kind of a dirt bag. 
so I think you deserve it. Helicopter out of the sky, but hey, hey, it is getting knocked out of the sky as uh, promised and anticipated. I decided then and there, the ashes of Raccoon City would be Umbrella's ashes too. Okay. I would end them. All right. Once and for all. Okay. 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 All right. I feel you, Jill. I f I'm picking up what you're putting down. Skip this. A little post credits. Hell yeah. We got results. Yeah, I'm not even surprised that total play time. <laughs> Six hours, 21 minutes, clear time, 516. Four deaths, 31 saves. <laughs> Told you I wasn't, I don't go for the score, man. The score was not the, oh, that's cool. The title screen changed. The shop has been unlocked. What is in the bonuses shop? Stars Jill, that's sweet. They're in the mansion incident. Recovery coin. Oh, you can carry these in regeneration. What? When hell and carry increases them. What? what? Increase attack power? Crafting companion when held increase the amount of ammo gain when crafting. Field combat manual? Any by Chris Redfield, well held, physical feats such as perfect dodge become easier to perform, carry more to increase the effect. Uh, a lockpick, bolt cutters, you can start to, what? The hot dogger? His name implies this umbrella developed anti-bio weapon knife is used by those who like to show off. The blade can be superheated causing a target to burst into flames. The samurai edge. Um, the raiden? Developed by umbrellas. It possesses a great sound power, but only when targeting enemy weak points. Infinite handgun, infinite assault rifle, infinite rocket launcher. Holy Krapinski. That's sweet. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. But yeah, so I like this one a lot. I like Resident Evil 3 a lot. I do have to say, just with Resident Evil 2, having a mega annoying enemy type in like the final sections just like really like just it just frustrated me and i think that's part of the point is to like slow you down and hamper you because a lot of like the game can be beaten just a couple hours so i think that's part of the point is they want you to be able they want to hamper you enough that you know they they kill your time so i know that's part of the whole the whole shtick that's fine you know they they're doing what they need to do um overall i like it i liked it way more than two not as scary as 2. I think 2 had a lot more, like, jump scares and stuff like that. But I definitely feel that 3 had the whole, like, pursuit fear. You know, Nemesis coming after you. And, uh, you know, the quantity of enemies at given times. Now, granted, you were given 
much more power to handle crowds in this one. So I like the uh, capabilities. I feel like there is more going on, and they gr definitely fed you way more resources. Like I had so much healing by the end of this. And uh, no, I liked it. I think this game was great. I'll probably play through again just kind of on my own for, uh, you know, shits and giggles. But uh, no, I liked it. If you guys liked it, no, I'm not going to do my whole spiel. Uh, no, if you guys liked it, though, you know, let me know. And uh, I don't know what the next series is going to be, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> all right, everybody. Take it easy. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.